Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here for a rainy day in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Now, me and Joy, whenever we travel, we try to go to as much folk art uh, environments like that, outside art, whatever you want to call it. So in here, they have a museum called the American Visionary Art Museum. And... It sounded interesting. A lot of outsider art, a lot of folk art. We wanted to bring you along with us. Sadly, a lot of the museum is outside. We drove the four hours down from New York to Baltimore to get caught in a rainstorm. And uh, we're going to, we got an umbrella. We're going to power through it, see the outside. You make spend, the best of it. Spend more time on the inside exhibits. <laughs> and uh, have a good day. Mm -hmm. And have a good day with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully you like this kind of stuff. I, I think you might have because you clicked this video. It's appreciated. So if you do, you could uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment down below. All those good things. Where is there a folk art environment we have to go experience? Mm. Let us know. Uh, but now I think it's time to get out of this car, forge the elements. And get and, inside. And get inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. So step right up. Let's go for this ride. From the outside looking good. We have some beautiful mosaic and a Vola Simpson whirly gig. Last time I saw some Vola Simpson whirly gigs we were in North Carolina. We actually made a video about them. I love it. Using metal that he would find making these giant whirly gigs which are more or less works of art that would spin with wind. We have rain but sadly we don't have any wind. We'll put a link down below to all the ones of his whirlies that we saw in North Carolina. We actually have a video of that. We walked around the building and there's this art surrounding it everywhere. A beautiful Christmas tree made out of glass. I mean, just, just look at the building. Incredible. I like that. At first I thought it was the building, but it's actually panels bolted to the building. Biker chick jumping off the building. Scrap metal biker chick. I love it. I love it. All right. I think it's time to head in. I'm okay. I'm already seeing cool stuff. A sculpture called Alchemy. Turning lead to gold. The process of alchemy. It's called Candy Cummings was the name of the artist. Stuff like this. Alice is looking glass. Also by that artist, Candy Cummings. Using like found materials to create art. I think it's so beautiful. All the old RCA TV tubes, painted, wrapping around. We have a triptych here. More of those uh, TV tubes, mixed media, spray paint, TV vacuum tubes, TV knobs, found parts. It was a gift from the artist. This is what I mean. Anything could be used to create art. A paper plate cut out. Look how beautiful it is. By Rosa Leaf. Let them eat plate. Can you see the two bite marks out of it? Another one by Rosalie. I love these, these cutouts of New York City. This is called Best in Town. Nick's Blue Diner. And then we have one. It almost looks like it could be a photograph with extreme contrast, but it's actually just paper cut. And in the basement we have Bob Benson's Flagellum Post and Brian Dowdall's Baltimore Beasties. We figured we'd start in the basement and work our way up. You need all that uh, caffeine from that coffee to use this old workout equipment. I also like this. Vend It, Mend It by Roy Fender. An old vending machine. It's like an old outlet, just the random stuff in here. Piece of wood. It looks like it could have been driftwood, but it's just wood without some of the bark, except there's some bark on the legs. Just looking at the shapes, making an animal out of it. It just said, it looks like someone stole, stole one of the eyes. We have the women's restroom where Joy's standing. We have the men's restroom over there, and in the middle, we have a flagellant's post. 
with the word fart. Huge farting bull sculptures. We see Colin Powell behind George Bush holding his nose. It's all stuff about farts. A vegetable fart, asparagus, Salvador Dali. But the center is this, this post and we're supposed to stand on the mirror pad. <laughs> this is some art you don't want to get behind. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Jackson Pollock's confused for I like this. The hot chili pepper blast. I really want to meet the artist to know who is so obsessed with farting. This is great. Two UFOs awaiting launching. They look like poop. And the flatulent post was by an artist, Bob Benson, who's a Maryland artist. I love these paintings. Just on pieces of cardboard. Going up the staircase, all bottle caps and beads, a chain of them. And the bottle cap chain continues to the top floor but hanging from the ceiling in the middle of the stairwell, we have this angel figure with rainbow wings. Well, they're mirrored wings, but they have rainbow stripes on them. I haven't shared with you all all my personal art I create, but I love museums like this because I consider myself an artist, but museums like this validate my feeling of considering myself an artist. An incredible sculpture. Leo Sewell's Stegosaurus. Made of scrap metal. He writes how his family was a product of the Great Depression. So you figure holding on to things. And that's what this is. All the leftover parts creating a beautiful piece of art. The thing I'm trying to figure out is saying the Stegosaurus was made in 1980. But on his butt, we have a Bart Simpson, who definitely is after 1980. Did he start it? That's what I think. He probably started it. Or he, over time, like if stuff fell apart, he added, maybe. Just imagine going through dumps and people's trash, finding all these little pieces of stuff to make art. I just want to know who accidentally lost their teeth. They're here. I found them. On the top floor, we have sleep, the science and the mystery. Walking in, already happy, a piece of art by Alex Gray. We used to do suspensions in Alex Gray's Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors when it used to be in Manhattan. It's now in upstate New York. So it's amazing to see some of uh, Alex Gray art here. Sleep is 1 60th of death. Cradle of Love by Jesse Cooper. Painted wood. I love it. Sam the Dot Man McMillan. Un an untitled dresser. These pieces are made by an artist named Adrian Kellard. It's carved wood with paint. You can see where the blade of probably a chisel or a tool took out creating the art. And this beautiful carving of this bedroom was by Adrian. We actually see it in his house with him. This museum is right up my alley when we have another piece of Alex Gray with a quote from Fight Club. Am I sleeping? Have I slept at all? This is insomnia. Along this board, we have recipes for good sleep, and I have to take notes of this. If a snoring, if snoring of a partner is a nuisance, get earplugs or negotiate separate sleeping arrangements, if at all possible. It's interesting fact. I know a lot of people that sleep with TV on shut off all electronic devices in the TV. Many are addicted to late night watching, thinking it actually helps them sleep. 
but light, especially blue electronic light, disrupts the hormone melatonin's natural production triggered by true darkness. On the third floor near the bathrooms, we have some fun house mirrors. Oh look, I am having fun looking in this mirror. This man, he understands my kind of art. The Pez Collection by David R. Klein. You see, I really am an artist, Joy. I have so many of these, but what makes me sad is I need so many of these as well. These are my love. You see that little stick coming out of the back of the head? They're actually whistles. This bronze statue, do you see all the little faces in it? A whole person made of faces. Made by Ho Baron. I like the name of it. Thoughts from the Deep. We can sort of see from this third floor. Wallace Simpson's Whirly Gig is actually moving now. The wind has taken it. And what's crazy is the stuff that looks like wood. That's all actually metal. Even the cup holder is metal. This is my kind of art museum. Don't get me wrong, I go to all the kind of art museums. The MoMA, the Met in New York City, I like it. I could go around and just see paintings on walls. But some of the stuff that's really, I feel like, uses your imagination and blows away the idea of what the rules are for art. Mm. Just read the statue that we were looking at before is by an artist named Andrew Logan, and its name is Black Icarus. Flying too close to that sun and falling down. Always remember, you are a child of the king. And we have almost like a throne. And this is by an artist named Gregory Warmack. I know him as Mr. Imagination, you might too. Now, with all this bottle caps, I love some of the stuff he makes. A lot of people have seen his art, but don't even realize if you ever in Disney's Animal Kingdom, near the dinosaur area, there's this weird dinosaur made out of cement with four little pieces of stuff in it. It's a Mr. Imagination piece. And also in Disney Springs in Florida, behind the House of Blues, there is another piece, an archway that he has made. But it's cool to see a piece that's not an outdoor sculpture of his now. Walk to a section of Esther and the Dream of One Loving human family and Esther herself was a Holocaust survivor and the first thing we come to is a doll she made wearing traditional Polish clothing for her granddaughter. Esther's farm cow. I love how the building set up looking like an old home and we have all of Esther's pieces of art behind it. We start with Esther's childhood home in Poland. I like what this piece, it's labeled when she started it and when she finished it, this is swimming in the river. It's pretty cool, it's like the whole evolution of the process. Like you have the first one, no date, it's really pretty, it's great. This one, all of a sudden, now she's putting a date on it. But now you get into the whole thing of like, now she's, it's bleeding. Actually embroidering the explanation. <laughs> We have a Rosh Hashanah from 1938. It was the last Rosh Hashanah they had before the Holocaust. I like that the art is really telling this story as we go up to September 1939 and they ran to see the Nazis entering the village and when the Nazis got off his horse and cut the beard off his grandfather while the grandmother was screaming, taking the cows to the field, I'm looking at one of the camps to turn to one of the death camps. We have in August of 1944, after liberation, she went back trying to find her family. But she 
was looking through piles of shoes, looking for theirs, but they all looked the same. She was looking at cabbages growing on the piles of ash. Never found them. And they have a video of Esther talking herself, describing the art, describe also just telling the story of the Holocaust times, trying to hide in Europe. On the second floor, we have some more of Rosa Leaf's art. I like this, the paper cut out. It's the, looks like a Chinese takeout box. And this that looks like a Wendy's cup, or no, Budweiser cup, King of Beer. But it's carved out of a Wendy's cup. Who would think to make a gorilla out of aluminum foil or an elephant? It reminds me of old Pee Wee's Playhouse when he had the giant bold aluminum foil and people would bring him pieces as gifts. If only he was making big giant gorillas. Into the second part of the second floor. Abundance, too much, too little, just right. We pass through this arch of a bottle wall. I like how the bottles aren't only going straight through, some are standing up, letting the light shine through, seeing the beautiful color of them all. Another piece of Mr. Imagination's art. Along with all these other canes and walking sticks. Some beautiful wood carved furniture by Tilden Stone. You see the ship's wheel as the backrest, the anchor, and this table has a carved cast iron frying pan and the basket you would put fish in if you were going fishing. These are so incredible. Little wood carvings made out of a single piece of wood. You can see how it would actually, it's almost like a chain with the ball forming like a pin holding it in place. The little balls carved. I dream of carving stuff like that. All I ever did was this remedial single chain with squared anger angles to it. I couldn't fathom. Imagine those pliers, they actually move. That's carved, that's insane. I'm so happy that we came and we got to bring you because we actually came across another piece of art by Mr. Imagination. I didn't know this museum had so many pieces from him. He's one of my favorite artists, so this is making me so happy to see stuff like this. And then I look over here and I think we have a case that has a lot more of his stuff and a wall. Oh man, this is making me happy. Oh, like look at this snake he made. We saw a big throne and we have a smaller throne. It's just, I always wonder what's in the person's imagination. I just love it. It's art by a woman named Patty Kuzbita, the mother of misogyny. We have the chicken on the head, the rose is where the arm should be, the flowers, and inside the belly, a chicken baby, a cherub. Right here, favorite painting of the day by an artist named Brooks Yeomans, wrestling at the Charlotte Coliseum. We have a steel cage match happening. They're playing a video of the art of Tressa Prisbury, the bottle village, grandma's bottle village. She has a wishing well that inspired me. I've been saving Mexican Coke bottles to build a wishing well, inspired by this woman in this video. We're talking about bottles. Look at these sculptures inside glass bottles. Little saloon. Imagine this was carved in little pieces and had to be put together inside of the bottle. All this bottle whimsy was by Carl Warner. Ooh, The Wizard by Robert Sparky Brown. I like it. Harm ye none. And this one, our mother, she's actually blowing a bubble pipe and it's making the planets, the suns, the moons. Little monkey swinging from it. We have some pieces in their permanent collection.
reminds you that there aren't. To me, it reminds me like people sitting on a roller coaster car, but the wheels aren't, right? No, it's got power. Oh. Ah. I guess when you turn it around, there are wheels and there are headlights nice on. It's called the Driftwood People's Bus. I think they'd be mad if I laid in this bed. Maybe a little mad magazine. What? Me worry? Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And if you see, there are the bugs around it. I like how they use the insulators on the as the bed knobs. Carving is called the Haint House. Lots going on in here. Different animals with different heads and weird bodies and snake tongues. Interesting grandma dents and death. You see the light is actually lighting grandma's dentures. We have a ceramic grandma and this character who I think is supposed to be death. We have a skeleton over here. Painted with them when you look close. It's made up of hundreds and thousands of little people. But when you stand far away, it's of a naked lady laying down. This is crazy. By Antonio Alberti. There's three parts of this titled In the Wonder Work of Art. The work itself is called The Light of Life, and the three parts are The Christian Appeal, The Flight of Heroes, and The Cage of Joyful Spring. I find it interesting that it was actually featured at the 1939 World's Fair in New York City, and they say, these little planes though, sadly they're not original. Those were stolen at the World's Fair and had to be replaced. But it was actually carved from one tree trunk. We actually have, and at the base, we have the tools that were used to carve it. This guy's asking us where we are going. Actually, that's just the name of the statue. I want to know where he's going. He must have sprung some leaks. He's got some holes in him. When you woke up today, did you think you would see a whole bunch of green primates? No way. Well, get ready, because now you are. The variety in a museum like this is what blows my mind. We have different fabrics and feathers and plant pieces creating all the different primates here. I like the face of this mandrel. And then we have the big gorilla over here. But the details, like this is the different media. I could see what kind of primates they're supposed to be. It's mind-blowing. In the center of this room, we actually have some toothpick art. This boat made from wooden toothpicks is the Lusitania. Left New York, shot by a German U-boat. The reason the US joined in World War I. It is amazing to think someone sat here with gluing the toothpicks together, painting them. Look at the little details, like even in the rails. <laughs> and now. <laughs> we go outside, not spinning again. Now that one building isn't the end. There's more art, two buildings down. We just gotta figure out how we get there and get in. Ooh, we have a cool courtyard. I like outside art joy. We have cool courtyard. Bird, bird, bird's the word. Bird, 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 bird. Just welding pieces of metal, forming a bird. It looks like another Wallace Simpson whirly gig, but we look. We can see the insides, they're starting to move. Cool big wooden structure. I think we actually get to go into this piece of art. 
stepping on fake log cement leading to the wooden structure. I wasn't expecting from the outside to have so much detail in the carvings of the stairs. And now you can really start seeing the different patternings in the structure that when they were built it. Almost like a little uh, tree housey thing made out of fallen trees. Mm -hmm. okay. I see <laughs> one big fish right there. This post is cool how it's like coming out. It's almost like a pea pod opening up. So Joy, yes. us walking through that, does that make that performance art out of physical art? I'm thinking about it now, it's conceptual art. In this building we have some more of the mosaic that frames the main building. You can see how they literally were just panels that could be moved and bolted to any wall. This is getting interesting. Ahead of us we have a cosmic galaxy egg. Do you think this giant cosmic galaxy egg fell from this massive bird's nest? It looks like it could be like a guitar or something converted to bird. Are you ecstatic that you're here? Notice the bird's nest? Uh-huh. You'll actually, if you pay attention, like sit here for a while, you'll see the birds go in and out. Like it's their nest. Real birds that are actually using the yeah, sculpture like as their spot to build their real how. Hello, Mr. Scrap Metal Bird, are you pluming up those horns on your back to attract a mate? Because there's another bird right over here. Time for the next building. Got our tickets to show them. This is pretty awesome. James Harold Jennings are, but I was looking at, as soon as we entered, all these planets and spaceships and a plane. We actually have art we get to interact with. Please turn slowly. Okay, sorry. <laughs> As Joy turns the crank, we actually see the pieces of wood moving up and down and the birds as if they're sitting on water and waves. Made by Paul Spooner. The Price of Civilization. You see the cat looking down at the rat. The whole wall has some push buttons. I like it. The scarab wrapper. See the scarab underneath the pyramid? Now it changed. Now it's a full scarab. How to live number 17. I would eat spaghetti in a bathtub with myself. I just f want to know. I understand marinara sauce coming out of one faucet. What's coming out of the other one? Is that a cheese sauce? The Bearcats. Keith Lee, is that you? I like how Joy's making a little mechanical machine move, which is making its own little mechanical machine move. I'm good at this one. I'm always beating a dead horse. You see, the horse is actually being beaten by death. <laughs> a skeleton. Do you prefer the jumping nurses? <laughs> we have trusty and jerking. The jumping nurses. Skiing dog, I like skiing dogs. Good form. Heading down, downhill for all that speed. Household calorie. You see, she's riding side saddle, but there's actually people in the horse costume. They're human legs. Copter. Ark copter. You wondered how Noah's Ark really survived those floods. It was an Ark copter. That's some turbulence it's got right there. I like it actually has some dragons on Noah's Ark. 
You can see them turn their heads, watching the birds spin around. That guy actually turns his head like the exorcist to see the birds. The donkey wants the carrot. Run, donkey, run. It's a flying carrot, too. This one's called a Trojan horse. And we see all the soldiers popping out the top. But look how it works on the bottom. Just a little disc spinning, pushing up and down the rods that control the soldiers. Oh, the fish tank in the sky is a cat. The dead cat's uh, in heaven, you see, catching all the fish in his mouth. The flying fettuccines. Aerial arts on a rocket launch into space. Um, when you went to circus, what did you see? I saw the flying fettuccines. As you see the ant come around, his tongue shoots down trying to catch the ant. Wave machine colorful. You see some uh, skinny dippers in the background, the rescue boat coming, some people drowning in the front, King Neptune with his trident, and some planes circling ahead. Brass dragon, that funky dragon. Brass dragon, dragon, that funky dragon. Being in Baltimore, you knew we couldn't get away without a John Waters reference in this museum. So we have Babidi Bombshell titled Eggs, a vision of Edith Mosey. And that would have been Divine's mother who liked eating eggs in pink flamingos. This makes me happy. I've been trying to find some of these driving around Baltimore. It's a art form here in Baltimore of screen painting. And they actually have, it looks like a Baltimore home with some of the painted screens. This is so incredible. I've been searching for one of these for so long. So with these screen paintings, me, who loves Sideshow, always has been fascinated by the man, Johnny Eck. Johnny Eck, you might have known him in the movie Freaks, uh, Todd Browning's Freaks. He was the half man, and when he retired from acting and performing, he would paint screen paintings because he lived here in Baltimore, born and died here in Baltimore. And this center window, is one of Johnny X screen uh, print paintings. And, and here, this is the, one of the most iconic photos of Johnny X. And this door is by William Oktavec, and he is actually the man who taught Johnny X this form of artwork, of painting the screens. They're actually playing a video, and there is Johnny X. I thought, well, how come I go? hanging in the middle of the room. A giant, beautiful, hot air balloon. So God is love as it spins around. And the hot air balloon is right next to a giant kinetic sculpture from the Kinetic Sculpture Race 2023. Imagine you pedaling this giant thing that propels you along doesn't get any more Baltimore than this. So we have a screen painting made into a dress of Divine's mother eating the eggs from Pink Flamingos. And speaking about Divine from Pink Flamingos, here by artist R. Andrew Long. A big giant Divine. One of my favorite totem bulls I've ever seen called Peace Totem. We have Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, John Lennon, and Jim Morrison. Awesome art cars. I don't even know where you get this many blue bottles. I've seen so many art cars. I wonder what it's like to drive one. And this one isn't just the outside of the car. It has a whole like diorama scene set up inside the back of the car. I've seen balls of yarn. I've seen balls of string. I've seen balls of aluminum foil. But here we have 
the bra ball, 18,000 bras in one. Bro, that's a lot of bras. Bro, bra. Bro, bras. <laughs> Do I don't, I think that one's not your size. Maybe that one. I could even get some frilly furry ones to pretty lacy ones. We have lots of peoples and then some sort of dinosaur creature in the middle of them made out of all this stonework. This is so cool. Joy might not have thought she'd seen green primates today, but I did not expect to see one of Axel Erlandson's sculptures. This is one of his tree circus sculptures. So he would do is take trees, graft them together to form a work of art. I've always wanted to see these. Some of them are still living out in California at Gilroy Gardens. I was not expecting to see one that's dead, but standing here as a work of art in Baltimore. Blows my mind. I love this so much. We actually have the world's first family of robots. If this area is flashing danger, I am thinking from Mars. Sistar. Love the different pieces forming them. And the dog has its tail spinning. Caution, I am energizing. A beautiful carving of an orchestra. It's titled Symphony in Wood. I just have one question about that. If all this is carved out of wood, would that make all the instruments woodwinds? We have fiber applique of John Waters at age six at the Howdy Doody show. And this actually is a gift of John Waters. <laughs> I was not expecting it to continue up here. <laughs> We are on the second floor of the second building. It makes me happy when a museum is just more than a museum. It's also a teaching classroom. We actually have some of our, the classrooms that they have here. All the fun stuff in the wall, wrapping around the classrooms. Looks like a bottle wall, but it's just the bases. I don't even know if they're bottles. They're just little blue discs but it does create the illusion of a bottle wall. Only one thing left to do. We saw both buildings, we saw the outside courtyard. It's just time to exit through the gift shop. But that's sort of a lie. We're not exiting, we left the building, we crossed through the courtyard, we went back in the first building intentionally to go to the gift shop. It's cool, it's named Sideshow, and you don't actually have to come to the museum to check out their gift shop. So if you're in Baltimore and just wanna check out the shop, you can, but I definitely would recommend checking out this museum. It's cool. Already in love with the gift shop, Joy. Didn't even step in. <laughs> like car bumper folks taxidermy from Zimbabwe. Yeah, perfect. Joy, I might spend a lot of money in here and I'm not even sorry. Oh my gosh. I love a museum gift shop where you actually could purchase actual pieces of art. or vintage masks. Oh, these tiles are awesome. I know it's right now. I need a Bob Ross Day of the Dead tile or American Gothic. Well, this guy eating tacos. Got a light. Original art in matchbooks. Do I think I found a souvenir for me? I won't use those matches though to light my boilers. Some amazing birthday cards. I love Happy 30-ish. If you don't even got new boobies, you can get them that one. If you have a baby at home, this is the greatest thing ever. Traveling sideshow bibs. Sideshow banners that are your child's bib. Over 20 bibs. What I like is a lot of the art here isn't crazy priced either. 
$15, $10 for a Bacardi bottle with the sculpture up top. And the books are well priced too. Drawers of stuff. It's a circus. All little cutouts from circuses. Clown children. Ooh, Hansel and Gretel. Maybe you want to get some matchbooks. Look, we have some vintage matchbooks. Vending machine labels. Oh. Dish Smurfs. Santa. Of Mice and Men. Joy. I'm gonna catch you with my hamburglar bait. See, this, this is the face of a woman who regrets bringing me into a gift shop where I want $1 bolo trophies. I'm like, ooh, $1 bolo trophies. Gumbies and pokies. I want it all. And books, and postcards, and a Freddy matchbox. <laughs> and that elephant, not your average white elephant gift for only $5. Yeah. Uh huh. huh. So Toy's like, maybe that one. I want everything in this store. This is I haven't been to a store like this in a while. From little tchotchkes to beautiful works of art to haunted dolls. And what makes this stuff even better is some like the names. Like the cockroaches are just eek! Joy, I got us a kid. He could go on the road with us in the sideshow. No! <laughs> Mommy! 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 Even Zoltar's here. And this Zoltar, he's got a nice pretty flower. I love he's smuggling a donut. Tom Hanks big. Pee Wee's Playhouse. What's his favorite? Even if you're looking for vintage thumbtacks. 50 cents a roll of thumbtacks. The names, the names would sell me. Their accordion are called the Weird Al Training. So I think we did, did good, Joy. All right. That might be my new favorite museum. <laughs> I, I, I try to follow outside art, folk art, whatever you want to call it. So to come and see artists that I've been looking at from around the country and see they're all, all in one spot. This was awesome to see artists I didn't know about, but now who I'm going to look up because I like it. Yeah, this, this spot was amazing. And the gift shop was amazing. We left with some original photography from the filming of Crybaby. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. An elephant tea kettle for Joy's teapot collection. Well, Me, elephant collection. Elephant collection, not teapot collection. Sorry, I switched it. Matchbooks art with Freddy Cougar. Tiles, so much cool stuff. Uh, yeah, this museum, mind blowing. So giant divines, so Mr. Imagination art. I, yeah, I liked it, you could see. Screen yeah, Johnny X Green paintings. Like, yeah. Come here. In Baltimore, a lot of people say the aquarium stop number one. This, I think, should be stop number one when you come to Baltimore. I, my, my mind was blown. Joy still loves the aquarium. Oh, yeah. But she did like this, too. This is stop number two. I was going to make a poop joke with number two, but I, I no, cut it. <laughs> That isn't the basement, there was the farting machine. There was a farting machine. Art, you can step on it, makes fart sounds. Like, come on. A beautiful, beautiful spot. All right. But I think we could call it. I think so. The American Visionary Art Museum. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Goodies. And live life. <laughs>